Hey, what is going on everyone? It is B. Avery here and I'm very happy right now. I am very happy because I am still on this Black Panther high. It is doing very well. It is being received well by the audience. It is being received well by the critics and it is also being received well by the box office. And that is what we're going to be talking about today. I have now seen the film four times. I uh, caught it early and then I went Thursday night, I went Friday night, and today is Wednesday, I also went Tuesday night. And so I am very glad that I was able to contribute to the box office success of Black Panther. Now, some people may be a little upset about that and we'll talk about that later on in the video, but you know, I am through the roof. I am very excited and that's what we're gonna be talking about today. So I'm uh, filming this video right now on uh, Wednesday. I was gonna make a Black Panther box office results uh, video on Sunday when the estimated numbers first came out, but I was like, no, this is a four day weekend. It's, President, it's President's Day weekend. And these are the estimates as well. Even if it wasn't the four day weekend, President President's Day weekend, I still wanted to have the actual numbers because, you know, Sunday is usually the estimates and then Monday is usually the actual numbers. But then Monday came around and they still didn't release the actual numbers. I mean, at first the estimated was around 192 million and then, you know, uh, for, for the three day and for the four day, it was at 210 or 215. Then Monday came and they said that, that was around 201 million dollars and that the four day for the three day and then the four day would be around 230. 30 million dollars but it still was the estimated but tuesday evening tuesday afternoon yesterday the actual numbers came out and i am through the roof and you actually have it for the three day weekend 202 million dollars 3,900 202 million three thousand nine hundred fifty one dollars and i am ecstatic for that and the four day weekend, $242,155,680. Mm -hmm. That just makes me extremely happy. This movie is doing hell of a great job all around the world. And I am just so fascinated by that. And then it hasn't even opened in China yet. It doesn't open until in China until March 9th. And the reason why China is such a big deal to me is because, of course, this is an American movie. Uh, you know, around the world, the United States, where I am right now, we have the largest block, uh, we have the largest box office, but China is always number two. Uh, I'm really interested in this. I mean, usually these Marvel films average out to about $100 million um, in China. Um, but with this, with this being a predominantly black cast, I don't know how well they're going to receive the movie. And so we're just going to have to see. The only other location that hasn't opened up is uh japan which is march 1st and china march 9th and then we have uh, russia it opens tomorrow february 22nd estonia february 23rd and then yeah russia february the 26th so i'm really happy about that the first record that um you know and but i remember the tracking when this first came out for this movie that was saying okay it's gonna be around 100 million dollars and then 150 and i was like i don't know guys i'm thinking it could be around that 175 million dollar mark and then when the thursday previews came out with it being making 25.2 million dollars that thursday night which is bunched in with friday uh equaling out to a total of 75 million dollars i was like man hold on i think that you know this may have a slight chance of making the 200 million dollar mark and when the estimates came out i was like man that's so unfortunate it didn't make 200 million it, it made it around 192 and i didn't think it was going to jump that four percent but it did and so what i am most depressed about is there are only five films in all of cinematic history that have made the 200 million dollar mark for the three-day weekend those being star wars the force awakens which came out in 2015 at 247 million star wars the last jedi which came out december of last year 2017 220 million jurassic world 208 million marvel's the avengers 207 million and black panther 202 million dollars that is freaking amazing and with the way you know we still gotta wait another week or two just to really kind of get a sense of how it's doing overseas but you know you can just throw all those dumb rumors away that predominantly black films or black left films do not do well internationally that is not true that is garbage um right now let's see where it's sitting at overall worldwide 
I believe that is right now four hundred and sixty two million dollars, four hundred and sixty two million, two hundred and thirteen and forty one dollars. Now, the budget for this was two hundred million dollars. And uh, I am very surprised by that because um, usually for a first solo film with Marvel, it could range anywhere between 130 million to around 160 million. The cheapest film that they have ever put out was the uh, $130 million by Ant Man, which came out in 2015. And let me see if I can pull up all the other uh, Marvel films real quick uh, and get a series, not a series, but. An indication of what their budgets would be and i'm not going to do that because it's going to take me too long but is the cheapest that they've ever done was 130 million um their most expensive film uh was either captain america civil war that came out in 2016 or avengers 2 avengers age of ultron uh, Captain America um, Civil War Captain America 3 was 250 million and Avengers Age of Ultron was 250 million the Avengers was 220 million dollars and this one was 200 million dollars the only other film um, that was around this amount of money was Iron Man 3 uh, I'm, I'm not speaking about the I'm speaking about the budget here let me see what it is I think it was just 200 million dollars even uh, why is not Iron Man coming up? Okay, hold on real quick, guys. Be patient with me. I don't know. I, I typed in Iron Man, but for some reason, Iron Man doesn't want to pop up. So I'm just, I, I got to find this real quick because it's that important to me. All right, where are you at, Iron Man 2? Um, where's Iron Man 3 at? Iron Man 3, what was your budget? Yeah, Iron Man was $200 million as well. And uh, two hundred million dollars as well, and that grossed one point two billion dollars uh, worldwide. And so I'm just going to go ahead and say this, make this declaration that Black Panther will make one billion dollars worldwide. I am just very confident in that. Um, I, I find that highly likely. Um, I still probably need to wait till next weekend just to see really where all the where it's standing at, you know, internationally. But I think it will hit one billion dollars. Not only do I think it will hit one billion dollars, I'm going to go ahead and call it right now. Um, Avengers, not Avengers, Black Panther is going to hit one point five billion dollars worldwide. Yes, it is. Now, if it does that, it is in the running to be out of the 18 Marvel Cinematic Universe films in the MCU. It has a chance to be um, the most successful worldwide because right now Avengers that came out in 2012, that is at 1.5 billion to be exact, 1,518,800, uh, I'm sorry, 1,518,812,988 dollars. This will be that. I'm just going to, yeah, I, I just, I just feel it. I feel it that around the world are going to be like, yeah, black people. Yeah, <laughs> I'm teasing. No, I really do feel like it's going to hit that one point five, one point one billion dollars. That's just a given to me. Um, so, you know, let's just go ahead and, you know, put that in the bag. Um, but, yeah, we're it's going to make buku money. And right now, the uh, results for Tuesday has come out as well yesterday. And that's at 20 million dollars. Now, let me also show you something else. Let's let's talk about something else. Oh, we got two things. Opening weekend showdown. This is between. OK, um, they added a couple of more films in here. Um, I'm on Box Office Mojo right now. They had what I love about Box Office Mojo is they have these showdowns. And what they did was they said uh, MCU top openers and they have it between uh, Avengers Age of Ultron, the Avengers, Captain America three and Black Panther. So when I go to it by the daily amount, of course, yesterday, well, not yesterday, of course, Black Panther beat everybody on Monday with $40 million on Monday because Avengers Age of Ultron had 13 million. The Avengers the one had 18 million. Uh, Captain America three had 13 million, but Black Panther had um, $40 million. Now, when you first glance at that, you could probably say, oh, that's just great word of mouth. You know, yeah, you can say that. But at the same time, Monday was a holiday. A lot of people were off work. And so that's another reason why they went to go get their boost. But when you look at Tuesday, that is a true indicator because to, this is Wednesday, Tuesday, yesterday, there was not a, uh, a holiday. So it's just even across the board. Now, the first Tuesday after the initial Friday release for Age of Ultron was $13 million. The first Avengers was $18 million. 
Captain America 3, Captain America Civil War was $13 million as well, but Black Panther was $20 million for Tuesday. So that's a regular day. It's not a holiday. So it is outpacing all of, it is outpacing, you know, all of these films. So, you know, it, it, it has a chance to, um, you know, this film may make domestically $500 million. Let's just go ahead and say that $500 million. Um, now, Age of Ultron domestically made where are we at here 459 million dollars domestically captain america civil war made 408 million dollars domestically and the avengers one made 220 not 200 623 million dollars domestically so right now black panther is at 263 uh domestically i think it will at least get up to 500 million i don't want to go as far as saying that it'll make 600 million dollars domestically i'm not sure but you know black people hey they may uh well not just black people everybody um uh, but of course uh you know black people have already seen this film two three times already i've seen it four times and usually people that i know that only go see these marvel films at least once they've already told me i've wanted to go see it twice three times one of my homeboys was like i went to he's like i'm going thursday night uh probably gonna wait a while I'm like, bro, why are you not going to see it again? He was like, you know, I, I don't know. This is before the movie came out. The movie came out. And just like me, his opinion was like, it was a great movie. It, it wasn't the best thing in the world. It still has some flaws and errors. And, you know, Black Panther was not perfect. And to be honest, it is not my favorite in the whole Marvel Cinematic Universe. Um, I, I talked about that at the end of my spoiler review, which you can go uh, check out. But he still went, he went to go see it again the second time. And I know some people are going the third time, you know, and fourth time. So, you know, we uh, we got that there. Now, um, Black, well, I was going to say something else before I got into the other records. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure this is going to gross over five hundred million dollars uh, domestically. I'm pretty sure it's going to. I'm confident that it'll get to one point five billion uh, worldwide. Um, the, the theater average for this was uh, fifty thousand two hundred and fifty dollars. That's pretty good as well. Um, and so, you know, this thing is just, you know, making a hell of a lot of money. And uh, I am overjoyed. Now, some of the other records that it had, this is the largest February opening uh, weekend of all time. The previous record holder was Deadpool at $132 million, and this made $202 million. And that was for the three-day weekend for Deadpool. This is $202. Um, it was also the largest winter season opener uh, weekend as well uh, for the three-day weekend at 202 Deadpool was the previous record holder of that. Um, this is the largest uh, President's Day weekend opener at $242 million, and the previous record holder for that was Deadpool for the four-day at $152 million. Uh, this is the largest Monday uh, ever. Uh, the previous record holder was uh, Star Wars The Force Awakens at $40 million, uh, $40 million, $109 million. Um, for, I'm, I can't count 40 million one hundred nine thousand seven hundred and forty two. Now, they should have put an asterisk by this because Star Wars The Force Awakens opened in December and Monday was not a holiday. But Black Panther got um, this boost, the, the highest Monday opener, because it, it, it had Monday was a holiday. So you have to put a little asterisk there. And uh, also, this was the largest preview gross in the month of February at twenty five point two million dollars. The previous record holder was Deadpool at twelve point seven. Now, um, the only other film that grossed more on the Thursday night preview, uh, I believe I, don't, I can't remember if this is all time or just in the MCU, but that's Avengers uh, Age of Ultron at twenty seven million dollars. Um, since beyond those charts, Black Panther places second only to Star Wars The Force Awakens as the second highest 40 day gross of all time. Um, and that was just shy of about four hundred eighty five thousand uh, dollars. Black Panther also places only second to Avengers on several charts, including the second highest opening for a comic book adaptation for the Marvel Cinematic Universe and Marvel comic adaptations for a superhero movie. Um, and then, you know, it's just some other stuff that kind of like pointless facts. Here. I don't I don't always like you know, uh, listing every step because some stats are pointless to me. For example, I hate when certain news publications will post on their headline. So-and-so movie, um, it has the best opening worldwide. That is a dumb stat to me. The reason why is you should only consider, uh, the biggest opening for a specific country, not worldwide. The reason why is every film that's released each week, does not open in the same amount of territories all at the same time. So if you have movie a, 
that their opening weekend around the world it was in 20 countries and then you have movie b their opening weekend it was 30 countries well of course the one with more countries opening at the same time is going to have a bigger box office so the only way that stat matters to me is if every movie released opens up at the same amount of different territories around the world at the same time and that just doesn't happen you know because for example one may be saying well brandon Black Panther opened in so many countries with Black Panther on February 16th of the week of February 16th. Why didn't it open in China, you know, at that same time? Well, China has their own film industry over there. What if they have a, like big blockbuster Chinese films that are opening on February 16th? Would Marvel Disney want to compete with those? No, they will want to like, OK, let's find a weekend in China to where there's not a big budget movie in China that's releasing and release our movie at that time. So it's not competing with everyone else or something like that, you know. So, you know, you, you always have to look at those things like that. But uh, Black Panther is making tons of money. Uh, I am so happy. I am thrilled. I may even go see this a fifth time. I got me some gift cards to the movies for Christmas and I'm going to use them. I don't mind if I use them for Black Panther. Hey, I got to use them. So, you know, hey, why not? Now, just some other things that I want to address. Some of the backlash. Uh, there are so many different groups of people on this country, on this planet. You know, there are certain different groups of people in the in the, in the white community, the brown community, the, uh, the Asian community, even the black community. You know, and there is just a small sect group of people that are black that are just making these dumb claims just saying oh my god why are y'all bragging about black panther making all that money it ain't doing nothing but going to the white man and white supremacy is, is gonna take it and fuel and blah 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 okay yeah it is only going to the white man so what but what this movie is doing is opening the door so that black people around the world can get proper rep representation, not just in this country, all around the world. Because usually we only get big budget films if we are thugs, gangsters, uh, drug addicts or comedians or things like that. You know, Michael John White did an uh, interview recently, recently with Tariq Nasheed on their ISM radio podcast. And, you know, he is a uh, avid, vivid martial artist. And he was just saying that it's crap how the stereotype is that black films don't do well overseas or don't do well, period. I think Black Panther is breaking all that, just showing everybody that has the money in any film production company. Well, hey, man, you know, uh, not only should we have, uh, you know, films with a predominantly white cast, but maybe we should have films that, you know, with the female lead like Wonder Woman. Now, people brought up, you know, films like Elektra uh cat woman and aeon flux how those are women led films and they didn't do well at the box office well primarily because those movies sucked the movie has to be good too and wonder woman of course this came out was it 2016 or 2000 uh to that so that was 2016 i think i don't know why my keyboard doesn't want to work right now uh when i'm online come on keyboard i have some delay maybe i need to um delete some files what i was trying to do no, Wonder Woman, not Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman. I was trying to see what the box office. I think it was $850 million for Wonder Woman. Oh, $821 million for Wonder Woman. And that's hella good. So not only do can we just not have uh, predominantly white films, we can have films with, with predominantly led by women. They make money. And now we can have films with the all black cast as well every once in a while. I'm not saying all the time, you know, spread it out. You know, all these films can make money. And also what this also says with February, it go it, it helps my argument. It helps my point out because I made another video a couple of weeks ago asking is Disney and 20th Century Fox insane because they're clumping up all the movies in March. With Black Panther being so successful in February, that just shows that it really does not matter when you release a movie a year round that if you just release it and it's a good movie that it will make money no matter what. And in that other video, I was talking about how I wish all other films are spread apart, how we could have Black Panther in February, A Wrinkle of Time in March, New Mutants, which got pushed to next year in April, Avengers Age, uh, Avengers Infinity War in uh, May, Deadpool in July, uh, June, Ant-Man and the Wasp in July, and then the Star Wars solo movie in August, Break in September, Venom in, um, in October, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Helps my point there, but... Um, what am I trying to say here? 
Yeah, it really doesn't matter where you release a film. Um, you can have it in February. But to those people just talking about this is just going to the white man. No, this is opening up the door. Yeah, yeah it is. But this is opening up the door um, for black writers, black producers, black directors. Because uh, Joe Robert Cole was the writer. Um, Ryan Coogler was the writer and director as well. And uh, Alan, not Alan Moore. Um, dang, what is this dude's name um, that directed Black Panther? Not... Uh, that direct not that produced Black Panther. I forgot his name real quick. He's a Nate Moore. I don't even gotta look it up. I remember he was black too. This is opening the door for us to get more films made. And if you feel this way that you know this movie is going to the white man, if that's the case, okay, fine, you can feel that way. But make sure you never ever ever go see another uh, big budget blockbuster film in theater. Uh, make sure you stop buying all you know foreign cars or American made cars. Stop. Make sure that you just stop buying all clothes if it's not, um, you know, made by a black brand. You know, maybe you can hit up Damon uh, John and we can do football again. Hey, I I bought it back in the day. Uh, throw away your cell phone because that's going to white people too. Your taxes that you pay, um, you know, every um, you know, all the time. That's going to the white man as well. Um, the social media platforms that you have with the way you complaining on Instagram and YouTube on Facebook, that's going to white people too. So just go ahead and deactivate all those accounts. You know, don't pay any more of your bills. Um, you know, don't buy any, I mean, you know, you may say, well, I have to buy those things. Okay. Well, you know, don't go to Walmart anymore. One of these people in this video was talking about how this money is going on a white man, but at the same, another video that was bragging about a Superman, uh, sweatshirt they had that they bought at Walmart. So, okay. If you do feel that way, that the money is going to the white man and it's just serving white supremacy, you know, I, I need you to boycott everything else. And I need you to deactivate your social media platforms because that's been monetized and they're making money off that as well. So, you know, if you're going to pl complain about Black Panther with the money going to the white people, which is so stupid, you know, you may you need to make a complaint about everything else and go uh, live in the hut. I mean, I can keep talking about that, giving more examples, but I think y'all get my point And I don't want to um, I don't want to spend too much time on that. Um, there are also people out there that are trying to find every idiotic rhyme or reason to talk down on this movie. Um, I think the fan, the, you know, making straw man arguments is talking about, oh, well, you know, kill me, all hell kill monger or whatever. You know what I'm saying? You know, uh, black parent teamed up with the CIA to, you know, stop a rev uh, revolution. You know, I don't know why y'all praising the Wakandas and praising T'Challa. Kill monger was a true hero. Well, you, you know, and this same person is also making an argument saying that they, you know, don't get mad at my critique. That is why we pay film critics to critique artwork and entertainment to get down to the nitty gritty. But in the same breath, you're ignoring our critics because you're not the only one making that argument. Everybody loves Killmonger. Ain't nobody coming out this movie talking about all praise T'Challa, all praise Black Panther. I, everybody, I think, like Killmonger more than... Uh, more than Black Panther. He was my favorite character in the movie. He had a just reason to be angry. So some people just negative cynics, contrarians, just trying to twist everything and be negative about everything. No, every oh, you talking about look at the critics. Everybody loved everybody loved uh, Killmonger. Everybody stated that it was difficult to villainize him because he had a just reason to be angry or whatever. Um, so what are you talking about? But anyway, this, mo this is not, not this movie. This video is mainly about the box office. It's the top, it's in the top, it's the fifth best opening of all time for the three day weekend at 202 million and made 245 million for the four day. And I'm so excited. This will make 500 million, um, domestically at least. And I know it will make $1 billion worldwide, but I think it has a strong chance of making $1.5 billion. Also, one more thing. People are also really complaining about the paycheck that Chaswick Bozeman got. Okay. That's somewhat fair but let's look at all the facts here one of the facts y'all are not gonna like but let's just look at all the facts first of all marvel has always been known to be cheap they've always paid everybody cheap oh well brandon they pay robert Downey jr 40 50 million dollars for iron man or i mean uh, avengers i'll get to that second chadwick boseman got there was a leaked image going around talking about chadwick got 800k for this movie, I think that's a false. I believe he got around 300K with all the research and reporting that I've done. Well, guess what, guys? That is the same exact amount that Chris Evans' Captain America got for his first solo movie, Captain America, which came out in 2011. So they got paid the same. 
Also, Chris Hemsworth, he got 200K for his first Thor solo film. So Chadwick even got more. And Robert Downey Jr. got 500K for Iron Man 1. So that's the same. Now, Chris Evans and everybody else, they got a boost for their first Avengers film around between two, three, and six million dollars or whatever. So with Chadwick Boseman, I'm pretty sure that he will get a boost for his first Avengers film. He hasn't appeared in Avengers film yet. He will in just a couple of months. I don't know what he got for Captain America Civil War, but every, oh no, he's locked in. Actually, Chadwick is smart. He's locked in the least amount of films. Everybody else, everybody else was signing like six uh, picture deals and nine picture deals. Chadwick Boseman only signed five, uh, uh, signed off for five, you know, and which was one uh, Captain America Civil War, two Black Panther films, and two Avengers films. So Infinity War is going to be his third. And this is because they're saying he's locked in. Yes, he's locked in. He has to come back to fulfill that fi those films, whether he wants to or not. But that does not mean that he won't get a bigger paycheck. Chris Evans and everybody else, Chris Hemsworth and Robert Downey Jr. got a big paycheck. Chadwick Boseman will too. If he doesn't, then I will be pissed. I'm not pissed now because I've just been following the reporting. So you just have to look at all the facts. And also the $40 million, I was just talking to somebody before I turned on this thing. That was someone where Robert Downey Jr. was a drug addict and, you know, blah, blah, blah. Okay. You know, he stopped doing drugs in 2003. You know, hey, that was his past. I'm not judging the man. But he got that $40 million off of a back-end bonus deal. Nobody else got that. That was just his agent doing great negotiating. But that was an anomaly because Marvel Disney did not know how much uh, Avengers won. They made $1.5 billion. They didn't know it was going to make that much. And so through clever, uh, mar not clever marketing, but through clever negotiating, his agent was able to get him that much. But if everybody in the film community knows this, but every, you know, a, a lot of my audience don't know, my new audience doesn't know this now. That was an anomaly, and Marvel and Disney was extremely uber pissed by that. Um, it will never happen again unless a film grosses like an astronomical amount of money. But that nearly ruined uh, Robert Downey Jr.'s relationship with Marvel Disney. Again, everybody in the film community knows this. This has been been reported on over and over and over for years. Uh, he barely got into Captain America Civil War because he got greedy and was like, oh, I'm, you know, which was messed up when he first came over to Marvel. He was like, yeah, I, I used to be, you know, I used to have problems, uh, you know, but Marvel gave me a chance and got me back on track in Hollywood and Iron Man has taken off. So that was cool that he was humble. But then all of a sudden he changed his tone again, was like, hey, you know, I'm the S.H.I.T., uh, and a bag of chips and he got greedy you know with all these demands and so he wanted to make that movie the judge and that movie the judge did not they came out in 2014 it did not make any money at all because he was talking about how he probably didn't want to do the role anymore which every actor says that that's just a negotiation tool you don't want to be like oh i'm going to do these films forever you know then they're not going to pay you anything you got to you know kind of play the play the game a little bit there but when the judge didn't make any money it was uh the budget was 50 million dollars and it grossed 84 million worldwide that lost the studio money and then i gotta just throw this in here real quick a lot of people were like wait a minute brandon if you take the 84 million and you subtract 30 uh 50 million that it, it profited uh 30 million dollars no the 84 million about 30 percent of 30 to 40 percent of that goes to the um that goes to the studio uh, they don't just pay they don't just uh they don't just play movies for free they don't just live off concessions or whatever so if i take 84 let's just times 0.35 all right that's 29.4 million dollars i'm gonna round it down so 84 minus 29 that's uh 55 million dollars well then you'd be like well no it grow it, it, they profited five million dollars no because the production budget is five million and um, 50 million and it does not take into the marketing budget, which let's just say it's uh, $25 million. It's half of that because uh, at the minimum it's 20. So, you know, the film actually really costs 75 million and, you know, it, it grows 55 million when you take out the th part that the theater got. So it lost money. So, you know, after the judge, he realized, oh, I'm not really making money by myself. Let me do these Marvel things a long time. And so that's that. But anyway, guys, I don't, man, I've been talking for 30 minutes. Golly, uh, I did not mean to talk this long. But uh, yeah, guys, um, I'm very happy. This, 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 <laughs> this movie, Black Panther, is making money. 
And I may talk again next Sunday or Monday for week two of the box office results. But guys, that is just my opinion. That is just my thoughts for the Black Panther actual box office numbers, not the estimate. What did you think? Are you happy? Are you don't really care about these box office numbers? Is there anything that you agree with or disagree with? Let me know in the comment section below. Let's get this conversation going and keep it flowing. I can't believe I was talking for that long. I thought I was like 10 minutes. Uh, anyway, guys. Uh, I should, that last part I said made me throw off my uh, my little thing what I be saying at the end of every video I love freestyling these though it, it's a lot of fun that way uh, comment below let's keep this conversation going and keep it flowing if you like this video go ahead and give me that thumbs up and if you don't that's fine go ahead and subscribe to my channel go to my website check me out there bookmark it and also look me up on social media Facebook Instagram and Twitter it's right at the bottom of the screen and I made it very easy by providing a link to all that good stuff down in the description box below and all those guys that like Malcolm uh, my homeboy he will be coming back for um, our red spirit my red sparrow review or our review I we it's Wednesday we will be going to go see that tomorrow night I don't know I think the review embargo is already lifted uh, but I will post that review sometime um, you know pretty soon probably won't be Thursday night but you know Friday or you know, over the weekend but guys thank you again for tuning in to my opinion my recap my review or whatever of the Black Panther box office actual results numbers and before you go don't forget that my name is Brandon Keith Avery and that's just my opinion peace <laughs>